how does the measurements the resistance measurements of a standard ohm meter or standard voltage ohm meter or VOM differs from the resistance measurements of a mega or mega or mega ohm meter mega ohm mega ohm or mega ohm how do the difference how will how do i mean how do they differ today we're going to do a test we're going to do an experiment and i will do some resistance reading between these two these two meters all right but it's a quick quick information or info about the mega ohm meter uses and the standard meter the voltage the standard voltage ohm meter standard vom standard ohm meter standard meter we we all know what it does right check voltage check resistance check capacitance and we can check diodes as well uh, we can check amperage and this one has a temperature we do temperature as well right pretty much that's a vom we use it every day this bad boy however um its sole purpose is to check check conductors resistance integrity the integrity of the resistance of a wire uh no what am i saying the integrity of the insulation of a conductor or wire right the, the insulation uh integrity is that right yeah insulation of a conductor integrity yeah, that's it so let's turn this on and i'm gonna go i'm gonna start at 250 volts now this particular home um, um mega home meter it has the ability it has multiple functions right so this is really a fancy one it's really it's really a fancy fancy uh, mega home meter because i can do dc volts up to a thousand and ac volts up to 200 i mean 750. <coughs> and i can do continuity as well and i have the ability to test at 250 volts 500 volts and 1000 volts so it's a really fancy mega home meter or mega home meter other typical meg meter they don't have all these functions right you can just test at 500 or maybe you can test at 1000 um, volts um output but yeah i mean it doesn't really matter the, the test is going to yield the same so let's start off by going doing um some simple um, continuity um, uh, measurements, right? Um, this rag right here is wet, it's damped. You can see the imprint on the, on the, on the, on the, the metal. I had a water poured in it. This is just, just plain old water. So this rag is damped, and I actually took liberty of scratching the surface, scratching away the coating of this metal to make sure that the water is in contact with the metal, right? And right here you can see I scratch it too. So if I go and uh, take my meter, my regular VOM, I do continuity. You can hear that beep even though the compressor in this chiller is running. And you can see I get some resistance right there, right? Now that's open circuit, OL, or infinity resistance. All right, and if I take this same leads and I go from the wet cloth, or the wet rag and I go to the uh, this one in the wet cloth the wet rag if I go on the wet rag you can see nothing oh, um, open circuits let's take it in here some more it's touching open circuits and if I go down here still open circuit still open circuit nothing right now obviously if I change this scale from from continuity to uh, let's say kilo ohms i might reach some resistance very high resistance let's try that yep i got wow 240,000. it's very very high 200 and uh uh what is this 25,000. 2500 kilo ohms very high resistance so um if you were checking a, a, a load or a compressor or a motor right you know, we do HVAC, we're testing a motor or, or to ground, or our compressor winding to ground, motor winding to ground, or even your incoming power wires to ground, and you're seeing this higher resistance, first of all, you go to continuity, and you're getting open circuit, OL, 
and then you're, you're, you're getting this higher resistance. You'll be like, all right, well, why is my breaker be tripping? Why is my fuse tripping? This resistance is very high. I got low. Look at this, look at this bump. All right, so you see, be like, yo, I'm, my, my resistance is very high. Why am I tripping? So let's see how the resistance reading of this stacks up against this. What it's gonna do, be the difference. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go as low as 250 volts. Because uh, systems, you know, two, uh, 208, three phase, 230, three phase. And obviously I could go to 500 as well because it's like a 480 volts or 460 volts. No need to go to 1000. So I'm gonna start at 250, right? Let me go to sun start. Is it locked in? Yep, it's locked in. You can see 265 volts. That's what's coming out across these leads. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit one on the rag and one on the, uh, the middle. See that difference, guys? That's zero mix. And you can see how the 265, it's almost like a dead short because the 265 went down to zero, almost zero. Let's go again. That's dropped down to 14 volts. So it's drained down to 14 volts. It's like a dead short. So I'll tell you right now, that kind of meg readings, you'll be tripping your fuse, you'll be tripping your breaker. And a compressor or on a motor, if you're checking from each of the leg of the motor or a terminal of the motor or your compressor to ground, and you're getting that reading, it's gonna be, you'll, you'll be blowing some fuses and, or some breakers. All right, let me stop that. Let me stop that thing right there. And I'm gonna drop it to, go, I, I mean, I could go to 500, but you see the difference, right? That meter saying that we got a high load, like 225, uh, 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 thousand, uh, uh, 2,500 K ohms are, are, are open circuit. Like this right here is open circuit. This dash right here, open circuit. Um, let me do, do 500, 500 volts. I'll be very careful because this right here is whatever voltage I select here, it's coming out here. So that's, so there you go, the difference in readings, resistance readings. So I'm at 530 volts output across these leads. I'll be very careful. I want to get zapped with this thing. Let's go on the rag. That's wet. And go on the metal. Zero mix, baby. Even though this meter was giving me open circuit and like really high, like at, at 200, uh, to, uh, to, uh, 2,500K, something like that. Uh, uh, it's just crazy. It was giving some crazy high resistance. Let's do that again. So, right, so do you have the difference in readings between mega, or mega ohms and and a standard meter. So let's go back to the K, the K, the K ohm scale. And what was that again? It was some crazy high reading. Yeah, that's like that's K ohms. So that's that's really high. I mean, three thousand one hundred and something K. That's like 300, 300 something thousand ohms. Very high. So that's that's high resistance. You think that everything is okay, but yep, your load is tripping. That's the difference. This is just plain water. Just plain water. That did that trick. Wet rag on the metal surface. As a matter of fact, I think this could conduct. If I take this and I put it on the water, it will still measure continuity. Got some water over here. Let's just try that real quick. Let's just try that real quick. I'm gonna show you just to show you how sensitive sensitive this meter is, the mega home meter is. Go down right there. We don't want to get it in the water. And we got to be very careful. We don't want to short these leads at 500 volts. If I go right here, this is a plain, plain old roof. Still showing open circuits or infinity. But if I touch it right here in the water, See that? That is how sensitive of a measurement this thing does, right? Comparing to the standard meter, if I bring this down here, and so if we can forget about continuity, let's just keep it on the uh, on the higher scale, an auto scale. We can measure k, k homes. Put it in the water. Very, very high, you see? Very, very high. So you you see the difference right there. That's 124K. 
very high resistance. And if I go to the continuity section, continuity, open circuit, open circuit. All right, so there you have it. The difference in the difference in in, in resistance measurements of the mega home versus a standard voltage home. Video, get a thumbs up, please, if you like it. If you if you have learned something, I'm out.